Happy Slammiversary Day to those who are listening to this video. As it uploads, this is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, the number one place to be for news, reviews, interviews, and more in the world of Impact Wrestling. So if you are a first-timer, hit that subscribe button. This is the place to be. So the last video that I uploaded, I re referenced an article by my boy Liam over at Daily DDT with this article, Impact Wrestling, it's time to kill off TNA once and for all. So he has another article here that's really good that I'm going to link in the description. Once again, top line of the description. Um, you can click on it now. You can wait for me to shut up, whatever you want to do. But definitely read this article as it is Slammiversary Day. And this article is entitled Impact Slammiversary 2018. Moose can be a winner in defeat. So it highlights a lot of the things that I've talked about on the podcast, on the YouTube channel, to where with this main event, they built it through a series of video packages, getting to know the wrestlers, which we know Moose's backstory, and I think it's time to start after this, after Slammiversary, move away from the NFL stuff and maybe get to know Moose on a deeper level other than something like that. We, we appreciate his fact that he, you know, no longer want to play football to chase a dream in wrestling, but what else makes Moose tick? So I hope further um, going forward, we get a little bit more depth in that area. But they they took a swing for the fences here. And I know I repeat myself a lot, but you guys got to understand I've got new viewers and listeners every time I upload. But from watching recent UFC pay-per-views, and I'm a, I'm a casual US, UFC fan, but I do order some of the pay-per-views here and there. And sometimes in the main event, I haven't heard of those guys. But throughout the show, they're building it up with video packages, getting to know the fighters. And by the time it gets there, not only is it a big fight feel in the arena, but it's a big fight feel for me at home. You know, I'm ready to watch the main event. They didn't build this main event through lengthy in-ring promos and weekly brawls. They, they kept their hands off each other till the very last episode. Now what they did at the very end, I thought was a little weak. Uh, wasn't really what I was expecting. And I think it just goes to show if they would have overexposed the two of them leading up to Slammiversary, it would have been a train wreck. So I love what they did. The article touches on that. The highlight of this article, and this is at the, ver at the very end of it, it, it just talks about, you know, is Moose ready to be the guy? We appreciate his work ethic, fairly over with the crowd. He's ever improving in the ring. As I've said, I think this match will over deliver. Moose has been that one guy that, you know, for every pay-per-view, he does something new, something different. Like he always steps it up. So there's no doubt in my mind this isn't going to be an amazing match. And they've actually built Moose up pretty well. And if he won, I could probably, you know, I could probably buy it. I could I could dig it. But I think Aries should win. Um, let me not let me not put my Booker hat on. You know, sometimes we just need to be wrestling fans and just sit back and enjoy the product. I think Aries will win, uh, but Moose, there's still some work to be done. The backstage promos, uh, which are improving, but you know, Moose doesn't have a whole buttload of charisma. You know, we did an interview with him here on the channel. It was our by far lowest listened to interview we've ever put up. Um, the William Weeks interview did better than that. You know what I mean? Uh, I think a lot of people tuned out after a couple questions because he didn't sound like he really wanted to be there. And I like Moose. I'm a fan of Moose. I've got Moose t-shirts. You know, um, hoping to really meet him in person one day. Uh, I always seem to be missing the uh, independent shows he's at. But I think the build has been good. I... Uh, as far as doing it through so doing it through video packages, it's something different. I think it's something I'm glad they tried, and I hope it's something they do going forward. And maybe if the main event is a little more uh, something people are naturally looking forward to, because remember they had the number one cont uh, contenders match. It was it was really flat, really weak. Uh, it was very overwhelming the way that Moose got this spot. It was manufactured heat. You know, when uh, Aries did the initial heel turn and how the town hall meeting and Moose got up said, screw you. I knew from that point Moose was the next challenger <laughs> once Aries won. You know, I think that kind of gave it away. But, you know, for what? Like, he just got up and got mad. I mean, it was um, a little bit manufactured. Let's be honest. 
can't wait to see maybe Bound for Glory if we get a main event of two guys, you know, where people are naturally just really looking forward to the match. What, how big could that be with these new strategies to build a world title? But in closing, regarding regarding Moose, um, you know, maybe maybe him losing this match is the best for his career going forward. Maybe I don't know how many people, how many fans are interested in a Moose champion at the moment, uh, but he could be. It could be his moment a year from now, six months from now. Uh, maybe he needs this this loss, this baby face loss to build sympathy. You know, hopefully the dude's not screwed over. I think if Austin got a clean win on him, the wrestling community would would uh, would have sympathy for Moose. Basically, is what I'm getting at, and maybe that would uh, uh, help us build towards his next world title shot. But one thing is for certain, Moose does not need to win the world title on an episode of Impact. Um, especially if it's not a live episode, which I know those are few and far between right now when they do them live. But uh, the worst thing they can do with Moose is give him the title on a taped episode of Impact. Everyone's going to know it's coming. Everyone's going to be, oh, you know, we, this is this is a title win that we need to experience together. And that, that's kind of what I thought with Allie, too, when she won her uh, knockouts title beating Laurel Van Ness, which she's a much more over character in a sense, but you know, it, it was a title win that I would have liked for all of us to celebrate together. So I think that's what we need uh, to happen with Moose. So that is it for my rambling. Uh, click the link in the description to read the article. I'm going to be doing more of this uh, covering articles and then giving my general thoughts on the whole thing, uh, linking you so you guys can have, more good Impact Wrestling content. Happy Slammiversary Day. Talk to you soon. Peace.